Yo, hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video. Optimize your business processes by integrating LinkedIn with the Salesforce in 2023. This tutorial provides a step-by-step -step guide to seamlessly connect these platforms, enhancing your CRM capabilities with valuable LinkedIn insights. So guys, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information. So the first thing guys that you should do is simply head up to salesforce.com slash UK. Then here, as you can see, this is the homepage. This is everything about them. These are some of their partners and here you will find every single information about this website. So first thing to do is to simply try for free. So we have to create an account and to start trying it. So the first thing is we have to answer nine to, uh, like questions. So here, simply give it like that. Here, let's name it as uh, Gamer, as an example, job title. Here, we should add phone number. For example, I'm going to add this number, no problem. And here as Gmail, let's choose this one. I'm going to use this one instead. And for the country region, let's go with Spain. We don't have any problem. Uh, for company, let's name it Gamers LTD. And the employees, I'm going to do 1 to 10. Company language is English. I agree. I would. Uh, I would not <laughs> agree. And then start my free trial. I, uh, this one is for marketing communication. We don't really want it. So let's start with free trial. So you just have to click here and your account shall be created. It's very easy, very straightforward. Then the next thing is to have a LinkedIn account. So simply just head up to LinkedIn, click on here, and then you should create an account on LinkedIn. Also, it is very easy, very straightforward, guys. So you shouldn't have to be worried about it. Now, after you finish with these two, what is this? Okay, this is like supports here. Well, basically, after you finish with these, so we have created an account here, you have done everything on here. Well, how can we integrate them both together? Well, there is nothing here specifically in LinkedIn that will allow us to actually connect it with any other uh, uh, like company or integrate with any other app. So what should we do? Basically, to integrate any app together without these apps having uh, like a, an integration thing, what you have to do is to simply use Zapier. Zapier is basically an app that will allow you to connect any app with your desired app. As an example here, I have, um, let's go here, let's go to apps. So after you connect your account, of course, you have to create an account on Zapier. Here we have LinkedIn. So I'm just going to search for link and here it is. It's very easy to find. Then you just have to connect your account and sign in into it. So for example here, you can either log into your account. Let's check if my, okay, here it is, hello. And as you can see, I have connected my account in LinkedIn. Now, simply, I will click here to test the connection if it is working perfectly, and it does work perfectly. Now, the same thing goes for Salesforce. The only problem is Salesforce can't be actually existing in here. But in case it was, well, basically, it is very the same thing. Connect. You should go ahead and connect it to your account. Make sure to choose which one you want as an environment. For example, production, and then please continue to Salesforce. Here, put your username and then the password, and you should be ready to go. As I said, here, like the uh, registration. Let's try it through here. So let's see if it's going to work. Employees 10 out of 10. Something like that. I agree. And let's check if it's going to work here. So it didn't let me to. Yeah, they're not, they're, they're not allowing us to register for some reason. But in general, this is how you can connect to Salesforce. So now after you're done with this process, you have to do the integration between these two apps. Well, I have to do so simply you have to head up to create Zap. And through here, simply what you need to do is to go ahead and write a prompt. So in this text box, you will have to write a prompt, which is basically a text that will describe what automation you wanted to be happening between LinkedIn and Salesforce. For example, when you get notification in, or we can do when something happens in Salesforce, do something in link the end and let's see how it's gonna work so now we just have to give it a lot of time 
and here it is. Synchronize Salesforce custom object records with LinkedIn articles. This is perfect. This is what you want, for example. Try it. And then you have the automation. So this is how it's going to work. When a new record in Salesforce has arrived, and you in LinkedIn, a create share update is in LinkedIn. So now all you need to do is to connect both your accounts. I have them connected already. And the next thing is to connect for this trigger. So let me just try this trigger. Skip test skip test and it should be turned to correct the same thing has to be done with salesforce so i don't have an account they don't allow me to create an account i will not be able to do that but for you guys you do if you do have an account you will be able to do it then you just have to click here to turn it on fix to publish and everything will be perfectly good to go now as you can see guys uh, after you finish it make sure to fix any problems if you did as i said and turn it on well before that even you should uh, figure out that here and uh, let me just load this page and your account you will have normally once you create your account for the first time you'll have free plan so in this free plan guys you will have tasks and zaps make sure that you have enough zaps so you can turn on uh, the zap that you want to work on so for example here there's all these zaps i will delete for now move to trash so i can make some space for the new zaps that i will create using for example linkedin and for sales and also every update that will happen or action that will happen it's called a task in here so basically as a free plan you will only have a hundred tasks in total so make sure that you are using them carefully in case you want more you can upgrade your plan to the premium version which will include four different plans so there is the starter professional team and the company each one of them can be uh, moving the price depending on how many tasks you want it to have it can be up until 2 million tasks or if you want a custom one you can go to the company one which will give you even more tasks but look guys at the price if you want for 2 million tasks you will have 4k dollar to pay per month so this is a very very big amount of money to spend on an app and basically you will have other features of course this is not only thing that you will get you can get here some multi-step zaps filters and formatters versions so you can get save multiple versions of your zaps here you will get everything in starter plus unlimited premium apps auto replay unlimited users premium support shared app connections and so many other things that you would be able to get using this premium plans so it is very useful guys to have them as your like side features to have them on your work and yeah guys that was it for today's video this is how you can connect both salesforce with your linkedin accounts i hope you guys got the information that you need from this video i try to be more informative and uh, like preview everything in details i showed this up here which is a very important tool to use thank you guys a lot for watching if you do have any information or questions make sure to leave it down below in the comment section and see you guys in the next tutorial